people don't just pass from my videos instead they pass with flying colors which is well evident in the comment section of my previous videos welcome to part one of dp203 since it's a data engineering certification you got to be prepared about sql queries if you look at the where clause here in the question of the sql query then we can see that we are looking for the column named name which doesn't exist in the table which i have marked in blue pen we are querying it and it will definitely throw an error instead there's a column name name student name in the table therefore option b that is an error is the correct answer without looking at it we can straight away arrive at the correct answer all right this question is about synapse analytics you got to be prepared because we'll get many questions related to this let's first look at option a that is view a view is like a subset of the original table where we display or fetch only relevant information a view cannot return a record from a given point in time as required by the question therefore it's an incorrect choice let's now look at option d because it seems suspicious scd type 7 if you see anything apart from scd type 2 in real exam probably these are distractors questions will test you on the knowledge based of mostly as per my experience on scd type 2 though there may be different options in the interest of time therefore we'll reject scd type 7 as we don't require it currently let's now look at option b that is temporal table temporal table is like delta table the problem with temporal table is that it's not supported in azure synapse analytics yet hence it's an incorrect choice again let's now look at the remaining option which is nothing but scd type 2 very important topic with respect to the exam you got to be prepared about the concepts scd type 2 can maintain historical information therefore satisfies the points mentioned in the keyword quick tip for the exam if you see keywords or options like scd type 2 in the option then chances of being the correct answer is very high therefore we'll lock c as the correct answer okay interesting question related to azure data factory pipelines if you are into data engineering then adf should be on your fingertips this question is about debugging the activity seems interesting let's first look at option a that is computer vision computer vision is related to ai the question is not about ai nor does it require it anyway instead the question is about data factory and data engineering definitely so ai will reject that is computer vision is chalked out let's now look at option b azure data factory azure data factory can take care of copying and wrangling of data flows we need to correct answer this seems to be one of the potential answer we'll keep this for the timing let's look at option c sentinel is related to security doesn't fit quite well because the question is not about security so sentinel won't fit here we'll reject this and the last option c is azure data bricks notebooks and jar stuff which is mentioned as per the below activities for debugging is supported by databricks therefore databricks can take care of the last two requirements that is jar and notebooks perfectly fits well in the question therefore we'll lock b and d as the correct answer all right this question is about rpo and crs seems interesting let's look at option c and d that is principle of least privilege and arm templates principle of least privilege and arm templates are totally off topic if you read the question nothing to do with it right therefore we'll reject this let's look at option a now that is uh, for xx server error interesting server errors are no way associated with replication delays for rpos therefore again incorrect choice we we'll reject this and quick tip for the exam whenever you see keywords like zrs and rpo in the same question then last sync time should strike in your mind if you look at the official documentation it's written for the last sync time property to determine whether the right operation has been replicated to secondary region your application can check the last sync time property for your storage account that's what is required will log b as the correct answer all right this question is about iot very interesting topic and let's look at the question or the options that is option d says azure virtual machines using azure portal simply using virtual machines won't solve the problem because we need to handle real time data as well because it's there's no mention of how virtual machines will handle real time data this question or the option seems incorrect we can reject this let's look at option a now azure data factory using visual studio 
interesting option data factory is related to etl and elt processes in the question there is no mention of etl or elt therefore again doesn't fit well we'll reject option a let's look at option c first storage account using azure power cell as per the question we need to monitor devices and doesn't has to do anything with respect to storing data right so we don't need storage account in any way therefore option c is again incorrect quick tip for the exam whenever you see keywords like iot that is internet of things then azure stream analytics should strike in your mind and we have here in the option that is azure stream analytics job looks good will log this as the correct answer all right very interesting question because it will clear up your concepts on scd also known as slowly changing dimension let's first look at option a that is type minus one there's no such thing as scd type minus one seems invalid option will reject this let's look at option b first that is type one in scd type one we only preserve the latest values previous values gets overwritten whenever changes in the source data is detected as per the question we need to preserve historical data that is written history of data therefore scd type 1 won't fit or won't achieve the solution therefore we'll reject option b don't just pass dp203 exam instead pass with flying colors with my keyword tricks exclusively meant for diamond members become a member now by clicking the join button and connect with me on linkedin at the rate of cloud guru amit or instagram at the rate of amit physique so that i can help you with the pdf access let's look at option c now that is type 2 type 2 supports versioning of dimension members and preserves historical data by adding new rows there's a concept of surrogate keys as well we'll cover this in next or some of the question in the future but for the time being this can be the potential answer we'll keep this let's look at option d still type 3 scd type 3 uses additional columns to track one key instance of history rather than storing additional rows to track each changes which is not required by the question hence incorrect choice and we'll lock scd type 2 as the correct answer for this all right this question is about data bricks let's first look at option a and b together standard and interactive standard and interactive are good for processing of data and querying there's no mention of processing of data and querying instead it's about batch processing therefore standard and interactive won't work here let's now look at option c automated automatic or automated jobs are related to batch processing We'll keep this option aside. Let's look at option D still. If we can get a better answer than this, option D says manual. There's no such thing as manual cluster in the data bricks. Absolutely invalid option. We'll reject this and lock C as the correct answer. Okay, another interesting question. Let's first look at option A, complete. In complete mode, entire update result table is written to external storage, which certainly we don't require as per the question, hence an incorrect choice. Let's now look at option B, partial. There's no output mode as partial. Again, it's an invalid option, we'll reject this. Let's look at option C, append. In append mode, only new rows gets appended in the resultant table. This can be the potential answer because we need such kind of requirement as per the question. Let's look at option D still, that is update. In update mode outputs only the rows which we have changed since the last trigger. Seems an incorrect choice, we'll reject this and lock C append as the correct answer. All right, we have some brainstorming question now. Let's look at it. Let's first look at option A, Azure lock. Azure locks protects resources or subscription from accidental user deletion and modification. There is no mention of preventing accidental deletion of resources in the question. Therefore, hints an incorrect choice. Let's look at option B, that is SAS. SAS provides secure delegated access to resources in the storage account. We don't need this as per the question. Therefore, we can rule this out again. Let's look at option C, that is Active Directory Federation Service, also known as ADFS. ADFS extends the ability to use single sign-on functionality that is available within a single security or enterprise boundary to internet facing application to enable customers a streamlined user experience while accessing the web-based application of an organization. There's no such requirement here. Seem in the question, we can reject this as well. Let's look at the last option 
that is managed entity this one is only left quick tip for the exam whenever you see keywords like virtual network in the question chances of managed entity as the correct answer is very high therefore we'll lock option d managed entity as the correct answer all right we are at question number 10 it seems about some real world example or scenario because it's related to transaction fraud let's first look at option a that is rule level security rule level security is meant for restricting rules it won't satisfy the requirement of the question therefore we'll reject this let's look at option b now azure active directory pass through authentication azure ad pass through is used for authentication because here is the keyword it's already mentioned it's meant for authentication nice clue in the option as well and if you look in the question there's no mention of any kind of authentication required to satisfy the problem therefore b is not required we don't need any kind of authentication it's incorrect let's look at option c that is transparent data encryption also known as tde we know that tde can encrypt the data but the problem is that we got to decrypt the data when we query which won't meet the requirements as stated by the question here hence it's an incorrect choice we are left off with only one option that is column level security column level security looks good because we can create a symmetric keys to encrypt the data we can also use this data as a feature of the model which will satisfy the question requirements hence looks good if we look at the official documentation it's clearly written that it describes how to encrypt a column by data using symmetric encryption in SQL Server using Transact SQL. This is sometimes known as column level as encryption. This is what is required. You can go through this documentation for clarity and the interest of time will log D as the correct answer. So please, please, please don't go away. Let's meet in part two of this series, which got to be more interesting.